Hello everyone. I am Dr. Priyanka, final year resident at Atul Bihari Vajpayee Institute of Medical Sciences and Dr. Ram Manohar Doya Hospital, New Delhi. The topic of my paper is role of multi-detector CT in evaluation of pancreatic lesion. The aim of my study is to detect and characterize pancreatic lesions by CT morphology. Multi-detector CT is the imaging modality of choice for pancreatic lesion. It allows multiphasic imaging of pancreas, thus enabling excellent characterization of lesion. The pancreatic lesion can be classified into inflammatory condition, developmental anomalies, neoplasms, and trauma. The pancreatic inflammatory conditions include acute, chronic, and autoimmune pancreatitis. Developmental anomalies include pancreatic division, annular pancreas, pancreatic head lobulation, agenesis of pancreas. The neoplasm includes pancreatic adenocarcinoma, endocrine tumors, intrapancreatic meds, cystic lesions, etc. The, in, uh, the infiltrative lesions, metabolic and others include hemochromatosis, cystic fibrosis, fatty pancreas and heterotopic pancreas. This study was conducted in the Department of Radio Diagnosis at Atul Bihari Vajpayee Institute of Medical Sciences and Dr. Ram Manohar Loya Hospital, New Delhi. It was conducted from 1st Jan 2021 to 30th June 2022, over 65 cases. These were the patients who presented with clinical features suggestive of pancreatic involvement or were diagnosed with pancreatic pathology on lab finding or USG. The patients underwent pancreatic protocol on 128 slice CT scanner. The results were the maximum number of cases that were uh, reported were of inflammatory etiology followed by neoplasm. The maximum number of neoplasm were of adenocarcinoma. Now the cases. The first case shows a bulky head of pancreas. The pancreatic body is replaced by a well-defined round homogeneous fluid collection with thin enhancing wall on post-contrast images. There is no evidence of any internal necrotic composition suggestive of pancreatic pseudocyst. Second case, there are axial and coronal reformated images on non-contrast pancreatic and portal venous phases in a case of gall-induced necrotizing pancreatitis. In, the, these, in this case, the pancreas is replaced by multiple peripherally enhancing thick-walled collections in the head and tail region of pancreas. There is extensive surrounding fat stranding, findings are suggestive of world of necrosis. In this case, the pancreas shows diffuse atrophy with prominent main pancreatic duct, multiple punctate calcific foci, which are seen along main pancreatic duct in the head, body and tail of pancreas. These are suggestive of chronic pancreatitis. This is axial and coronal reformated images on non-contrast pancreatic and portal venous phase. In this case, an ill-defined heterogeneously enhancing lesion with predominantly hypodense area is noted involving the head uncinate process and the proximal body of the pancreas with surrounding fat stranding. The pancreas and the pancreatic and the common bile duct are dilated, suggestive of mass forming pancreatitis. Case number 5, the axial images in non-contrast arterial and venous phase in a case of blunt trauma. There is a linear hypodense tract seen at the neck of pancreas with surrounding peripancreatic collection which is communicating at the site of laceration and is seen extending up to the splenic hyla. These findings and the view of history are suggestive of pancreatic laceration. Case number 6, this is a post-contrast axial images which shows part of pancreas extending in the anterolateral direction to second part of duodenum which is partially encircling that with narrowing of second part of duodenum and mild proximal duodenal dilatation. These findings are suggestive of annular pancreas, a developmental anomaly. Case number 7. This demonstrates pancreatic divism. This is a post-contrast coronal reformated images showing separate opening of dorsal and the ventral pancreatic duct in the minor and major papilla respectively 
with no intercommunication between them. The dorsal pancreatic duct appear dilated due to involvement of the minor papilla. Ventral pancreatic duct and the common bile duct are opening into major diurnal papilla which appear normal in caliper. Case number 7. It demonstrates dorsal pancreatic agenesis. These are post-contrast coronal reformated images of two different cases. In both the cases, there is non-visualization of the pancreatic neck, body and tail. However, head is visualized and it appears normal in morphology, attenuation and post-contrast enhancement. Now, the neoplasm. This slide shows non-contrast pancreatic and venous phase axial images showing heterogeneously hypoattenuating solid mass lesion with cystic or necrotic areas in the region of head and proximal body of the pancreas causing obstruction of main pancreatic duct leading to its dilatation and pancreatic atrophy with central and peripheral obstructive of biliopathy. These findings are suggestive of pancreatic adenocarcinoma. Again, this is a case of pancreatic adenocarcinoma. In this, there is an ill-defined, mildly enhancing hypodense lesion in the tail of pancreas with distal MPD dilatation and atrophy of pancreatic tail. There is no evidence of calcific foci within the lesion or in the MPD. Lesion has clear fat plane with stomach, transverse colon anteriorly and bilateral kidneys posteriorly. This case demonstrates Mucinous cyst adenoma. Non-contrast pancreatic and venous phase axial images are shown, which shows well-defined lobulated thick-walled peripherally enhancing homogeneously hypodense lesion involving uncinate process. There is no obvious communication with the MPD scene. These findings are in favor of mucinous cyst adenoma. Case number 11. Non-contrast pancreatic portal venous and delayed phase images of axial as well as coronal reformated images shows multi-loculated multi-cystic lesion of fluid density in the head of pancreas and uncinate process with few dilated side branches. The lesion is abutting IVC. The lesion is also abutting duodenum enterolaterally. Findings are suggestive of IPMN. Case number 12, non-contrast pancreatic and venous phase coronal images shows multi-loculated cystic lesion of fluid in intensity in the region of uh, head of pancreas and uncinate process suggestive of serous cyst adenoma. Case 13, which demonstrates uh, SPEN, that is solid pseudopapillary epithelial neoplasm. In this, we have a well-defined lobulated heterogeneously hypodense solid mass lesion arising exophatically from the head of pancreas and showing heterogeneous enhancement with multiple non-enhancing areas which are suggestive of necrosis or cystic component. There are multiple foci of calcification seen within the lesion. Now the last case which is of neuroendocrine tumor of the pancreas. The slide shows non-contrast pancreatic portal venous and delayed phase axial as well as coronal images. In these images there is a there is evidence of a well-defined homogeneous isodense mass lesion in the head of pancreas and uncinate process with few calcific foci within the lesion. There is hyper-enhancement in the early arterial phase followed by reduced enhancement and washout in the subsequent late arterial and venous phase images. The lesion was supplied by gastroduodenal artery. It is causing dilatation of MPD in the body and tail of pancreas with abrupt cutoff at the periphery of the mass. CBD appears prominent with abrupt cutoff at the periphery of the mass in the head of pancreas. The, the, these findings are in favor of neuroendocrine tumor of the pancreas. So, in our study, various pathologies were detected. Pancreatitis showed male predilection in age group 31 to 40 years with alcohol abuse being the commonest etiological factor. Pancreatic neoplasm showed male predilection in the elderly group and commonly affected the body. Pancreatic duct and CBD dilatation was noted in the case of pancreatic neoplasm. Of the total cases of pancreatic neoplasm, solid mass lesions were more common with adenocarcinoma being the commonest entity.
few cases of developmental anomalies in blunt trauma were also being reported. Hence, multi-detector CT plays an important role in the detection and characterization of pancreatic lesion. It can determine the extent of the lesion. It can demonstrate the site of metastasis and the vascular involvement, thus playing a pivotal role in determining the management and prognosis. These are the references.